boys. We are pouring a floor today. Here it is. This is the last part of this project, so stay tuned. This floor is 4,000 pound mix, and we're gonna put a three inch pitch in it from the back to the front. So everything pitches that way towards the door. We didn't put a drain in this one. Uh, we got plastic down for vapor barrier. We got a wire mesh down. We'll pull that wire mesh up into the floor with some hooks. And uh, we're just waiting on the mud, so stay tuned. Here comes the mud! We got Dwight, so it's going to be a little juicy this morning, I think. Hey guys, Bondo here. So let's do a little something fun here. Let's see if you guys can guess what slump this concrete was this day. And uh, let me know in the comments um, your guess. And, see, and I'll let you know in the comments. I'll answer you and let you know if you're right or not. It'll be kind of cool. Hey guys, Bondo here. So we're finishing up this little Nudura project. Um, that series that I was doing and I'll walk you through how we're pouring the floor here like we put a wet pad down the middle you can see we got the screed stick and we just flattened it out now we're just gonna fill this concrete in and we pull the wire mesh up you, know, you can see tuna with a hook there pulling the wire up into the concrete and then we're just puddling everything off you can see Mike and me down the edge we got a chalk line snapped along the edge so we trowel along that with our mags and then we turn and just use the screed stick to screed our way down through from wet pad to wet pad. And uh, we set these wet pads with a laser, guys, so that we know that we're, we're uh, keeping our consistent pitch going downhill as we go here. And uh, now we're just going to fill in this section right here. Can't really see with the camera angle that good, but same thing. We got the screed stick. We're going on the edge, and then we're going to work off the other pad and just screed our way down through there and uh, I'm on the right Mike's on the left you can see I got a mag in my hand I'm just kind of flattening it out as I go pulling it along and then Dwight's over there in the truck and he's filling in the, the rest of that one half and I grabbed the um, come along and I'm puddling and biscuits on the bow float there you can see he's flattening out those uh, lines that we leave with the with the screed stick he's knocking that down that brings cream up to the surface flattens everything out sets the aggregate in you see me and mike put another wet pad in and then the driver dwight he comes right in and fills it in for us and we're going to work our way right out to the doorway and then we're going to jump in on that other little piece we're not going to have quite enough concrete to pour this out, so we got a second truck coming. And we're actually going to do the core fill at the same time, which is going to save us time and money. So you'll see that. Stay tuned. We're going to core fill these blocks. And this truck right here is just about empty, guys. We're just dumping the rest of it off. We got our wet pads in on the side, and we just ran out of concrete. We scraped the chute out good. And we're, we're going to be having that next truck come in there in a minute. But we're just going to puddle or uh, screed our way out as far as we can go. And then we're just going to have to blend that a little bit at the end. And you can see uh, Biscuit's still bow floating everything down good. And uh, that's how we did the first truck. You can see Dwight over there washing up his truck. And you'll see the next truck pulling in here in a second. And stay tuned. I'm going to have some power trial action on this video too, guys, for you. Oh, so our second truck's here, guys. We got to do some core filling, and we got to fill in that little spot over there. Got about three and a half yards on this truck, so we're in good shape. We're not going to be short today. Not sure if you noticed, guys, but Jason from Circle T showed up and he gave us some nice orange t-shirts to wear. We've been wearing these yellow ones quite a bit and he showed up and gave us some uh, orange ones. And uh, one of the guys that works for Jason, he's going to talk about their company here in a little bit, Steve Diamond. Um, but back to the concrete, guys, we're just screeding this off this last little bit and uh, with the second truck. And right now we're core filling can't really see it in the video but we got a uh, um, one of those 
Bigfoot funnels and we turned it upside down. It's like a, a footer for them. And we're using that like a big funnel to dump concrete into the cells of the blocks. We're doing this about every five feet. You can see, see it now there, Tuna's got it. He's just kind of holding it there, scraping a little concrete in and filling that cell. This foundation's four foot deep. So uh, we're, we're solid filling that every five feet or so. And that's where we put our anchor bolt, which is gonna bolt the sill plate down to the house. It's that first piece of wood. Um, it's a treated piece of wood and that gets bolted to the foundation and that's what you build to. That's what holds everything down. You can see Mike there is working the doorway, the face of the doorway. And uh, we're just finishing things up here. Guys with the pour. And then uh, I'm gonna set the anchor bolts here in a minute. I'll show you how we do that. Here I am guys putting these half inch anchor bolts in here. You can see we spaced them probably about every five feet or so. And I like to put them in there so they're about an inch and a half sticking up to two inches sticking up. And that'll hold everything down. Okay guys, we're magging the edge off here. Right now, it's 9.30. We started pouring about... When we start pouring, Mike? 7.15? Yeah, they said they were going to be 20 minutes late, but they weren't. They yeah, were about, about 710 he pulled in. We were dumping mud by 715. Right. 715 and it's 930 right now. So we'll out of here in an hour and a half today. Yeah, probably. It's Get looking a warm good. Day, everybody. Get a warm day, everybody. Yeah, nice and sun's good. Out. Sun's out right there. But we're magging the edges right now. Me and Mike. Mike's digging out the doorway. Just chewing it's it down. Doorway and I'll be on a power trawl here, ladies and yep. gentlemen. Yes, sir. He will. Stay tuned. Okay guys, it's quarter after 10. We just set the machine out there. We're going to, Mike's gonna jump out on there today and break this floor down. We call that breaking the floor down. We hit it for the first pass. We got combo blades on that trowel right there, guys. So he's just gonna go out there and try to flatten out our bow float lines. He's not gonna get too close to the edge. We magged the edges off. You can see the edges are real nice going down through there, so. Shouldn't have to get too close to them, but we can get out there without leaving too much of a footprint right now. And that's the key. Mike's got some flat bottom shoes. So you can see we're not leaving much of a print there. So that's good. This is the second load. We want to stay out of there. So Mike's going to come up in here and hit where our first truck was and down into here. And then our second truck, if you remember, is just this little piece right here. So we'll probably stay out of that. But it'll catch out. This part will catch it because it wasn't that far behind the first truck. So I'll try to get some video footage. That's the new machine that I got. It's a nice machine. It's a Whitman. It's got that quick pitch on there, right there. Hey, you done with that? You know, it's real nice. So here we came in with another machine guys. I brought in Mike's machine just to help him out. 
Um, it was pretty warm out that day, so with two machines, we'll be able to finish this up a little quicker and get out of there, and uh, we'll probably get a little nicer finish. Here I'm trying to show Big Biscuit a few pointers with the trowel guys, so I let him get out there on it, and uh, I want to teach him uh, this year how to how to run the power trowel. So um, I was ended up showing him a few times how to use it. So just get let him get in the feel of it here, and uh, the best time to try to teach somebody how to use the power trowel is after the floor's pretty much um, hardened up, but it's got a little ways to go. You don't want somebody new getting out there right away. You know, we'd already hit this three, four times, so wasn't really going to do any damage to it. So um, I just took it back away from them here. And uh, I was going to go over that last truck area, I think. So I ended up taking it away from them. But just trying to teach him. Um, he's my son. I want him to eventually take over the business someday. So he's got to learn this stuff. Here's Mike showing you how to fill in a rock hole, guys. Got the trowel in one hand and the power trowel in the other, and he's just scraping up a little fat off the surface and filling in a little imperfection. Introduce yourself, sir. Steve Dime with Circle T Ready Mix. How you doing? Good, good. Say hi to YouTube. What do you, what do you can you say about your company and your uh, your concrete? I didn't think there was any questions in this. Interview. Oh, yeah, there's questions. questions I'm going to put you right on the spot. Perfect. I, I'm going to say you guys are pretty accommodating as a company, as a as a new company. You guys, for me, have been very accommodating. Like, if I need concrete, you're right there. So you guys are kind of geared towards the small guy right now. Yeah, That's we what sure do appreciate all the local businesses we're getting around well, here, too. Well, the mud's looking good. Over there yeah, the mud is the looking shine. good. The going nice. The shine's well, just, coming in. I'm not going to do now Jason showed up today with some t-shirts. What did you bring us? Good deal. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just busting your chops. He, he bring us some nice orange t-shirts. No, I like that you guys show up on the job. That means a lot to me as a contractor. That's awesome. That's awesome. Well, thanks for stopping by, Steve. No problem. And uh, we enjoy working with your products, that's for sure. Good deal. Keep it up. Thanks, Jim. Here it is, guys. We got her done. Turned out pretty nice. Now it's time. Yep, now uh, beer 30 time. Like Do that again, boys. That's right. We earned it today, huh? Every day. Every day. It's only 1 o'clock, guys. We started at 7. We got this done. It's 1 o'clock, but we're going to take it off the rest of the day. Have a nice early day. But this job is done. We just got to come back tomorrow and cut this floor. And this job is done. That's how we did it, guys. Hope you enjoyed this series. Um, leave me a comment, as usual. Appreciate that. And uh, hit that like button for me, too. Thanks. Okay, guys, we got her all caught. Cut her down the middle there and twice this way. That's how she looks. We washed everything off. I don't know if I mentioned, but this floor has a 3-inch pitch from the back to the front. We do that quite a bit on these garages where there's no drain. We'll pitch the floor. You can see that pitch. It looks really good. That way any water that's in there, they can at least squeegee it out the front door. And we always taper. We always taper here, guys. Put a little bevel from the door will seal here, and we have a little angle right there. We always do that, too. That's what she looks like. Thanks for watching this uh, build series. This wraps this up here, guys, on this project. We're done. Um, the carpenters can get going on the garage. They got the house part framed out there. What's that, tuna boat? Definitely killed it, man. We killed it. We killed it. We did. Glad to be done over here and moving on to the next project.